is a beautiful initiative to make people aware of the golden rule and it is essential in today's world if we want to have a prosperous, peaceful and harmonious society where people realize that this is no longer the age of independency, we are interdependent. You know? We cannot just be thinking only about our country or about our species. You know? We see that countries to prosper are dependent on each other, people to prosper are dependent on each other and on the environment as well. And this is a knowledge which we find in almost all the traditions all over the world. Uh, and people in ancient days, they knew this. If we look at uh, maybe the most ancient living tradition in today's world, which is the Vedic tradition, also uh, known as Sanatana Dharma, for thousands of years, this is the main principle that was part of the teachings of the practices, where the word Dharma itself means that which supports you that which carries you or nurtures you and it says dharmo rakshita rakshitaha which means those who protect the dharma are protected by the dharma it upholds those who protect it which is very obvious because when we care for the nature the nature provides for us when we care for other people they provide for us no? like we saw in the ancient days where people knew everybody in the village so if you need anything, people will be there to help you. Where maybe you may not have the means to build a home, but people will come together and build a home for you. If sometimes you may not be able to work yourself, people will be ready to, to share their food with you. And now we see that in many places, these human values, that sense of belongingness, of connectiveness, has decreased to the extent that sometimes people may not even know their own neighbors, let alone get along very well with them. So this is a, a, an ancient tradition all over the world and it's important that we, we rekindle those human values, bring back those human values so that we can have a prosperous and harmonious society yeah. where unbroken families can be a part of a peaceful society, a prosperous nation and a peaceful world. Yeah. And for that it is important that we we give people the tools also hmm? to, to kindle those human values. If you see in a small child, all these values are there. There is no child which is born in the world which doesn't naturally have the values of sharing, of caring. No? Many times it happens, a child goes to school and comes home and then the parents ask, where is your toy? And they say, no, I gave it to this boy who didn't have a toy. And then they scold him, no, no, you shouldn't give, that is your toy. And we teach people not to share. You know, or to be worried about themselves, that what about me, what if I don't have enough left? You, know? you see, a small child doesn't doubt the good in people, it doubts the bad in people. If you tell a small child, no, don't go and play with this person, they will ask why. If you ask them, and then they, they'll say that, why should I not go and play with them? You say, no, no, that is a bad person. Then they will ask, why is it a bad person? You know? A small child, you take them anywhere, they feel so at home with everyone. They may not speak the language, they may not know the culture, it may be a new place to them. They may take one minute to look around and then they feel at home. You know? They feel such a sense of belongingness. You know? There is no judgment in their eyes, there is no prejudice in their eyes. You know? So it is important that we bring back those human values and I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep coming back to my YouTube channel. Every week we post new videos with meaningful stories, practical wisdom, knowledge of the ancient Vedic tradition, mantras, yoga, Ayurveda, and do share this with people who may be interested as well. Mm -hmm.